I guess concept arts of new iPhones are hitting not only my news feed, but yours too, all the time recently. The world is ready in itself for a new page on smartphones market. But what about the pages of Apple's products on the aftermarket or in internet stores when you go to filters and choose to see used models? We've got some thoughts about pre-owned iPhones and quite an experience in this topic. Besides, people do buy them, so would probably use some of the stuff that I'm gonna share with you today. Is it worth to purchase second-hand iPhone and what are advantages and disadvantages of that. By the way, mine is Bogdan, welcome to Techfellas and let's talk into it. The most obvious reason for buying used iPhone is the price tag. For instance, such iPhone XR with 64 gigs of storage and being flawless on paper can be bought just about 400 bucks. Among the newest and fresh Apple smartphones, such price happens to be on iPhone 8, but in fact the models apart from Apple official store could be mostly refurbished, but looking like new. From here, my advice is to be careful with seller, because some trustworthy guys want more money for that phone. Okay, if to most safely, the adequate choice to compare with is iPhone 7 Plus, if you find the brand new phone, of course. By looking at it, used 10R model seems to be a good choice. The second thing why Apple iPhones are so popular on the aftermarket is a gigantic period of relevance. Such dinosaurs like iPhone SE and the surgery Donner 6S are still usable with adequate cameras, Apple Pay, and they are pretty snappy by these days. But they are from years 2015-2016, the same age smartphones like Galaxy Galaxy S6 and the Nexus 6P in daily life are losing high performance and definitely fall behind in updates. Nexus 6P last update was to Android Oreo and Samsung decided to give light only to their 7 series, while SE and 6S still got the freshest iOS 13 and updates. Feel the difference. In third, repair services all around the world are filled with parts of Apple products. Since the high chance to buy not ideal used iPhone, it's a piece of cake to find either new parts or at least taken from broken smartphone or not original at all, but you will never guess. Besides, if you have straight hands and head on your shoulders, you can change the battery or the screen by yourself without much efforts up until 7 series. iPhone 7 and higher models will also let you do that, but get ready to to deal with liquid protection and tons of glue. That's why it's better to practice first or give your phone to master's hands with special heat gun. Next thing that will help you to dispel some fears is the incredible toughness of iPhone's bodies. Since iPhone 4, Apple smartphones are all made of pretty stiff materials like glass and metal. If the previous owner was playing nice with the phone, then the worst that is waiting for you is the faded anodizing dyne, scratches on glass and small bruises on the polished frame if you deal with iPhone 10 or similar models. Frankly, the mentioned drawbacks are just minor problems, especially if you're gonna use case and protective glass. I would also mention ecosystem, pretty affordable Apple Music and tons of other features for which you don't have to pay as much as buyers of brand new iPhones do. Now it's time for some flaws and nightmares of used smartphones. In fact, it is always a lottery. Either you are buying indeed problem-free phone, which is selling just cause the owner wants a new one, or it will be a complete pig in a poke. In ideal universe, the guy would tell you all the secrets why the phone is for selling, show the maintenance history and so on, but you wish. All you will hear is the most evident drawbacks and only in case if you ask for it. What is said can easily be wrong. In the end, the smartphone may turn out to be nothing like you were expected to be. Next scary thing is the human attitude to solving problems. If the phone is broke down, the person would rather repair it in the cheapest way and then get rid of it by selling and making the impression that everything is alright. As I mentioned before, the market is filled with fake batteries, screens or iPhone bodies and technology has reached the point when you can buy TFT instead of OLED screen for iPhone XS, which costs half the price of Chinese OLED version and 8 times less than the branded one. If the person is full of crap, he or she will do this trick before selling. In general, if the body is rumpled but the glass on the screen is in a perfect condition, there is no lephobic coating or if there are any suspicions of tear down, it is better to decline such a purchase. What about bad fake batteries? They can be just dangerous, swell and catch fire. Beware, screens of the same kind will definitely not give you the high quality picture 
picture as the original one and the last quite short, there may also be problems with the touch screen. Frankly, it is easy to find a used Apple smartphone with cheap fake parts installed. Well, the third danger is around supposedly new devices that are sold at sweet prices. Often these are so-called refurbished one, which can be Frankensteins. When buying, it's quite possible to stumble upon a decent phone, but a big share of such products is a scam. In addition to the assembling from several broken devices with parts mixed from a pack of knockoff garbage, their main problem is the build quality. Inside you can find soldered cables holding with speed and prayer, lack of fasteners, one screw out of four on brackets, soldered out shielding. In general, it's a complete installation violation. Once my colleague bought iPhone 5 and didn't count the second microphone there. In addition, the smartphone will definitely come in a non-original package with the cheapest accessories that look similar to the original. I would definitely throw out the charger and cable right away, even if you are lucky and the phone works fine. What to say, have a life for details that hint to the recently opened body. If the phone has a main number, definitely check it with the real one. Ideally, it is better to have a friend with the same iPhone or even order diagnostics in service center. Or in extreme cases, spend some time with a new device in a store before buying the used one and obviously thoroughly check all the functions, paying attention to every detail. Even all this doesn't guarantee that you are not buying crap, but at least it will reduce the upcoming headache if something isn't fine. So, if you like this video, then why not to support our channel by subscribing to it, hitting the like button, ringing the bell to stay tuned for more cool content. My thanks for watching and cheers!